sorry about that. The battery had went out, so it is what it is. Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, um, anyway, so that's the way the card looks and everything. So, whatever. So, I'm in there. I'm getting ready to, you know, I'm filling out my paperwork and everything. And, you know, you have to bring your, you know, your medical documents, you know. Um, when you first get your card, you have to come in with your medical this and that. Like, you know, whatever you've been diagnosed with or, you know, your medical records if you've had like a surgery or, you know, different things or blood transfusions, all kind of stuff, which I didn't had all that. So, um... Uh, when you go down there and you bring your paperwork the first time, your medical records, and then um, when you go for your renewal, you don't have to do any of that. You just simply go in there, you know, with your old, um, your expired, uh, soon to expire documents. You take it to the receptionist and, uh, you know, she, you know, whatever, go on a computer, whatever, verify, whatever. And um, she asked me whether or not I want another hard card or I just want to keep my paperwork. Now, they do give you your paperwork with the Ray seal and all that stuff on and the doctor's signature and all that stuff. And you could just take that to any dispensary that you want to go to. And whenever you go to a dispensary for the first time, you know, you get some incentives, you know, to come back. You know what I mean? Like they'll give you a free gram or you know, a couple of free roll-ups or edibles or whatever, you know, they'll give you, like, little free shit, you know, for coming. And so, anyway, so I'm in there in the doctor's office, and, you know, I'm, you know, filling out my paperwork. And um, I look back, and I'm like, wait a minute, I know him, you know. And then I was like, okay. You know, but he was sitting with this lady, so I was like, you know, I, I would assume perhaps maybe his mom or, you know, something to that, I don't know, you know, but, um, so, you know, so, I was, you know, I look back, and, you know, I have my shades on, so, you know, they're talking or whatever, and I, you know, I never forget a face, that's just, I'm, I have a memory like an animal, like, for real, and so, I look back, and I'm like, damn, that is him, you know, I was like, damn, he's still fine as fuck, now he got this full motherfucking face beard, and oh my god, Girl, look, his shit was like this motherfucking thick. I was like, you know, look at this pussy eater in this motherfucker. Yes, I was like, oh my God, look at this shit right here. Do you see this shit? You know, but then I, I'm turning right back around, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to Mari Stahl or whatever the fuck her name was. You know what I mean? We getting my documents together. So I'm like, shit, but I had to double back on that ass. Like, wait a minute, Pam, what? Mmm. Right? So, anyway, so she asked me if I wanted a hard card or whatever, and I told her I did. A hard card is an additional $15, so if your renewal is, I end up paying $54 or some shit like that. So I guess my renewal was 39 and then my card was 15 So I end up paying $54. So, anyway, so, um... Then I go back and I sit down, you know, and it's other people, you know, waiting to get your call for the doctor. Because if it's there for your first time, you have to go to the back, see the doctor and all that stuff. They go over your medical stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sitting there. So they they called, you know, his friend back. So, but before they called her back, you know, I, you know, I, I, I look, check this out. I'm girl code. To the hilt, okay? I don't even know her like that, but yet and still, when I got back, you know, I, you know, you know, introduced myself and, you know, and all this kind of stuff, because I knew I was going to ask him about, you know, the gym or whatever have you, but, you know, I didn't want to do that before she went to the back. I wanted to, you know, let it be known that, you know, I'm a bitch, I'm not waiting until you go to the back to try to holler at your dude. I'm not going to be one of them. No, I'm getting ready to, you know, Excuse me, don't I know you from whoop whoop, you know, right here in front of her just so that she know that it ain't one of them. I'm not, I'm not that, you know what I mean? I mean, it's dick is everywhere, you know? I mean, if, if, if that's what I was on, you know, then therefore I, I, I wouldn't have no problem with that. So, but nah, you know, so anyway, so I was like, you know, excuse me. I'm like, you know, you look real familiar to me. I know you from, I know of you from someplace. And so he said, really? I said, yeah. 
And I said, um, L.A. Fitness. And so he said, yeah. And I said, didn't one day you brought your daughter in and you guys were working out and everything, and I was talking to your daughter, and I was like, you know, I said, how cool it is for you to come down here and work out with Dad. And uh, they talked about some kind of Serena Williams photo, I guess, was photoshopped, her waist was drawn in or whatever they say. But regardless, my girl's from Compton, and, and, and I've seen all that up close, and she is who she says she is. Let me just go and say that and keep it pushing. Our daddies was friends, played dominoes and shit together. Was drunk in that motherfucking black velvet. She stayed on Lindsay. I stayed on motherfucking William Street. Don't fuck with that, okay? I don't put all my shit all out here on, oh, well, you know, who you know and who you don't know. Hey, don't worry about all that right there. But I just had to mention that right there because they got my girl on TV and I guess they feel like her waist was photoshopped or whatever the case. It's whatever. She probably didn't put that shit up there. No way. Somebody else probably did it. But, you know what I'm saying, she is who she say she is. She is who she say she is. And up close, that's a massive motherfucker. I was like, bitch, listen. And it ain't scary, neither still Compton to the bone. You understand me? Ain't scary as shit. None of that shit. Anyway, let me get up off of that. It, it, excuse me. So, anyway, so I'm talking. They call her back, so she gets up, and so she walks to the back. But, you know, me and he and I are still talking, and... You know, and I was, um, you know, giving mention about his daughter, and you know, and he was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, it's like that was a long time ago, and I was like, yeah, I said, but I, you know, remember you from the gym, and I never forget a face, and you know, and I, I didn't want to, you know, not, you know, you know, speak, and so he was like, well, how you doing? My name is Whoop Whoop. I was like, okay, you know, so he shook my hand and whatever, and. So he was like, so what's up now? I mean, what you doing? You in the gym? What? You looking good? I had the black and a gray dress on, okay? My girl uh, had hers on, too. When I posted mine on Facebook, my girl, I believe her name was Tanya. No, I think I got that wrong. Don't hold it to me. Either way, she had her dress on as well, okay? And so she had posted on her, on my, uh, under the picture. She was like, how are we going to dress the same dress on the same damn day? You know, but, so girl, I, I had that dress on that day. Hourglassed out the game, okay? Filter not needed. It is what you see that it is. It's that, okay? So at this point in time, you know what I'm saying? Campaign trail is on, full of force, you know, full of fat. You know what I'm saying? He campaigning like a motherfucker. Oh, well, yeah, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm still up there. And, you know, I'm a physical trainer now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, uh, when you coming back to the gym, I was like, you know what? If you don't knock it the fuck off, negra, okay? Now, didn't I just see you with Thelma, okay? Don't fuck with me. I just seen you. I, I see you, okay? Don't play with me. And now, all of a sudden, now, when you come to the gym and all that, okay? Now, I'm going to come starting the first. I told him this is what, this was rolling this on into this right here. I told him that I was coming back to the gym on the first. I was like, well, you know, I got to get it right, get it tight. Summertime coming, you know what I'm saying? Bitch might want to put a back out on or something. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell him that. I'm just telling y'all that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Might want to put a little back out on something. A little daisy or something on. Something no. You know? Ain't no telling. You know what I mean? Possibilities are endless nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming in the motherfucking room with no ceiling. Huh? Oh, ceiling missing. What? So, um, you know, he was like, well, yeah, well, you know, come back to the gym and, you know, whoop the whoop. I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, I'll be there on the first. Yesterday came and went. I'm down there buying trees. Ain't that a bitch? So, yeah, um, we end up going to go, you know what I'm saying, to the little candy shop. And I bought me a couple of clones. My clones were, I think I bought the $10 ones. And uh, so I, I did that yesterday. And then I had to register at the new place because I had never been there before. And... Um, but my one of my homeboys was saying that he was gonna take me to that one. But nigga, I could I've been waiting on you, dog. Hey, what's happening? 
We were supposed to roll up there, go get some eating everything. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you on this and that, but I understand you want some pussy. You understand me? And so since I ain't in the liberty to giving you none, so then therefore I gotta release you to allow you to go handle that when you need to. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore me and you just never went down there. So yesterday Ken took me on down there. So it was sharp. It was mighty sharp. I have to tell you, it was mighty mighty sharp. That yeah. I'll be back. Look, check this out. Uh, I put your de name down on that referral. How about that? Now, I didn't know your last name, okay? So, the therefore, when you go back down there, just go ahead on and you holler at me. And then uh, I'll call him on the phone. I'll call, you know what I'm saying, old girl at the county and let her know, okay, this is Woo Woo. And, you know what I'm saying, my ID number is this right here. And I put down such and such down as a referral because now when he go back, he get a little extra twist or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Some type of little incentive. So, so anyway, so that's what's happening on that. Okay, anyway, am I still, am I, am, did I really talk about that? Did I really talk about that? Oh, damn. One went up, one had to go up in the air this morning, Okay. Because I'm in my feelings. Girls, I'm in my feelings. I'm, I'm like, I'm really in my feelings. And can I, can we, can we talk? Like, I mean, I, I'm not in the bed or nothing like that. So, like, so we can really need a knee like how we need to. So, I can't do all that. But, we, look, can I, okay, where do I start? Shit. Where do I start? I'm really trying to figure out where I start, why this fly is fucking with me. Do y'all see a fly on the screen? I mean, he's not on the screen, but he like fuck, fucking around with my head and shit. Okay? And I'm already on tilt. And this motherfucker right here is giving me two or three extra things to deal with. I'm trying to stay on course. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm here. Uh, hit the one in the middle. <laughs> anyway. But I'm in my feelings, and I'm going to tell you why. You guys remember I did a video back in February, and I was like, it's been 10 years, and I went to go see a friend. Remember? Remember? Okay. Him. Okay. And he's moved here. Yeah, he's moved here, and... It has got me just in a space of, you know, <laughs> I have some decisions to make, you know, and it's, and it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in a battle because I feel like this and girls, let me just go on and say this, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know y'all gonna let me know whether or not I'm in the wrong or not. You know what I'm saying? Don't condone my bullshit. Okay. If I'm in the wrong, say, nah, dog, you know what? Pull back on all that right there. Nah, that ain't you, okay? So just tell me if this, you know what I'm saying, on where I'm at with this. Okay. We used to talk damn near 10 years ago, okay? And, well, it's been 10 years ago. This fly, oh, my God. See, I had my door open. And so, uh, so we used to talk 10 years ago. But in the midst of it all, you know, I was just separating from my husband, you know. You were living on the East Coast, I'm on the West, you know. It's like, what can we really do? You know what I mean? What can we really do? Nigga, we met on black people, me. <laughs> so, um, so what can we really do? Well, and throughout these years, all these years, he would always say, I'm coming to California. I'm coming to get my Cali girl. I'm coming to California. I'm coming to California. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, whatever. He has a very, 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 very nice job. And uh, he transferred his job here. Now, mind you, he's like, he's going up for retirement soon. So he was like, well, you know, my last few years, as I've always said, I wanted to come to California, so I'm here. Now, at first, he was like, okay, well, Tina, I want to fly you out to me, and then we're going to, you know, drive to California, 
you know, and he had already have a moving company to, you know, set up for his things, but he wanted to drive his car and just to spend some alone time, you know, on some old, you know, Rob and uh, uh, Black China, nigga, we on the highway type old shit, okay? But uh, we was going to do that and just drive back to California. And uh, we end up not. Remember, I had stepped on a piece of glass, and I was just, I was, you know, I was down in March. So it was like that was just not an option for me. And uh, so fast forward, needless to say, he's moved here. And uh, he had a, a ceremony at his job when he first came. And um, I, I went it was very, very nice. And I just surprised him and went because, you know, by me being down, I was surprised myself too because I had to drive damn near two hours to get there to go to his ceremony and everything. And, um, you know, and I was not 100. You understand me? I was, you know, had stitches in, you know. And I was like, but you know what? I'm going. You know, you really came to California, and I'm just not going to miss this. You know, I took care of the home front, and I just, I'm on my way. So, um, I came down there. I surprised him and everything, and, you know, he was really surprised because he was not expecting me to be there. And we hadn't seen each other since, what, February? And when I got there, can I say that it was almost like he didn't know who I was? Girls, when I tell you that, that kind of made me feel like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Real shit. I mean, it took me two hours to get to this motherfucker. Lost and all that GPS, all this, to get me here. And when I got here, low-key, him and his, you know, his coworkers and all that, it was a lot of people in there. So it was like, I, I, I wasn't, like, really close. But, you know, from a distance... Him and his, some of his co-workers was like, well, his co-workers mainly was like, damn, who is that? You know, who is this right here? What's going on? You know, trying to holler low key. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I talked to a couple of them niggas while I was in there. But it wasn't nothing like, you know, let me exchange numbers and all this kind of stuff. I already knew that this is going to be your line of business. This is where you're going to work at. So it was that, you know, that was just something to do. You know what I mean? That was on some flattery type shit. It was like, okay, for real? Hi. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was like one of them. You know, you over there talking and handshaking and hugging. So it was like, and it was obvious that you was preoccupied. So this one right here is saying, how you doing? How you been? Hello. So it was like that, you know? I guess it was a game I was playing. Whatever. I guess so. Uh, you was over there handshaking and, and all that old kiki hee hee and all that shit. So I'm over here and um they, you know what I'm saying, my name is Melvin. You know what I'm saying, all this old type of shit. So I'm like, oh, okay, well then, hey, how you doing, Melvin? Shit, you know. So, <clears throat> so after I'm noticing that this man is like, they're looking, he's admiring me from a distance. I have my shades on. I didn't have the big hair. I had, you know, this huge goddess get up that was, you know, real cute. And I had this black jumpsuit on. Um, and I was cute that day, you know. And, and, and usually, I guess he's used to seeing, you know, the big hair and all that other kind of stuff. He really didn't know who I was, really. I mean, re really. It's like, you know, regardless of what you say, I don't think you knew who I was. I really don't. So... Anyway, I called him by his name. You know, I didn't put no mister on it. I didn't do none of that shit. I didn't call him by the last name, none of that. I know you like this, so no, I'm calling you by your name. And he was with all his little friends, because at this point in time, now they starting to clean up, so I'm getting ready to go. And, you know, I've been socializing and mingling in the room and all that old type of shit. You ain't said nothing to me. I ain't said nothing to you. But now that it's like now that I'm getting ready to vacate, let me go ahead and let you know that I've been here the whole time. You didn't say anything, nor really didn't acknowledge me, really. So, you know, I went, you know, I went at least about maybe ten feet, and I called him by his name, and he looked, and he was like, "Oh man," he did one of them, right? And so he was like, "T 
Tina. And I said, yes. Yes. But at this point in time, you know, my trauma personality wasn't too much intact. Because I'm like, I done been here now for damn near two hours. You know, you didn't acknowledge me. And I'm going to kill this goddamn fly. You know, and I'm not one to try to kill him. I like to shoo him out the way. That's why I'm giving, you know, him a lot of patience right now. But this guy is all fucking with my feet. And this guy, man. Okay? Oh, my God. So, <clears throat> so anyway. Um, so, he was like, Tina. He's like, oh, man. He was like, for real? He was like, you got a brother messed up, you know? And I was like, you know, so we embraced. And, I mean, it was good, you know? And he's like six. Four, six, five. He's like tall. So I was like, oh my God. At that moment, do you know I felt like Whitney Houston on Waiting to Excel? I was, I was, what's, what, what, I can't think of her name. Was it Bernadine, Bernadette or somebody? Shit, I was one of them motherfuckers, baby. When he hugged me, it was like right then and there, I had to take a breath. It was like, oh shit. Oh! One of them. Oh my God. And he put his hand all in the top and the small of my back and was rubbing it and shit while he was hugging on this. Oh, my God. Condensation was so real. Oh, my God. It was real because, I mean, the attraction is there between us. It's just like that. It just is what it is like that. But anyway, he was like, when did you get here? And how come you didn't call me? And yada, yada, yada. And I was like, no, but I did call you, though. I did call you. You know, I called you a couple hours ago let you know that I was in traffic. I was coming. I wasn't going to miss it. But not too much of nothing. But you didn't text me back, nor did you call me back. But GPS brought me here. So now you got me here. And I'm here. You know, so he was so elated that I was there and everything. And he was like, so what you getting ready to do? And now yada, yada, yada. Nigga, you wanted some pussy right then. Let's just go on and say that part. You wasn't getting none. Okay. Because I was not getting ready to follow you back to the pad. I wasn't getting ready to let's go get something to eat. None of that. I came for the ceremony. It was really nice. You looked very nice. Your accomplishments were off the charts. I am so proud of you. But no, I wasn't giving you no pussy that night. So let's just go on and be Mikasa on that, okay? Let's just be clear. So, anyway. So, of course, before I get to the house, he's calling. You know, where you at? I can't believe you really left. And... You know, we could have went and ate and, you know, and you could have came by the house. And, and I was like, no, 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 I'm going home. You know, I got to pick my son up from work. And, you know, and I, and I got, you know, my, my, my son and daughter, my baby get off football practice at this and this and this. And, you know, my daughter's going to be home. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going home. 